Hello, in this I will show you some advanced rendering techniques that you can use in Magic of Voxel to make your scenes look a bit better. Let's go ahead and get started. So over here I have a simple car that I made in Magic of Voxel and you can enter the render mode by going up here to where it says render and just click on it and this bar right here indicates the loading time it takes to fully render the image. So for instance, if I move the camera to a new position, you could see it's very grainy. That's because it's still loading the um, associated values that I have set here. And this is by default in Magic of Voxel. You can set this to be higher resolution if you'd like, but we'll worry about that in a little bit. So. You have this model that you made here. What you first can do is to give these materials a, uh, actually, sorry, to give these colors a material. So I've already done that with a few of these. So if I go to a model view, you can see right here, this is, this looks different in render view than the model view. And that's because this right here is glass. So if I go to render view and I hold down my alt key and left click, you can see over here in the matter section, uh, have as glass. And let's say you don't have that. All you have to do is just click this box and it should pop up what associated material it is. By default, um, when you make uh, voxels in Magical Voxel, it's going to be set to diffuse. So I just, I just grabbed this red color and it's set to diffuse. Uh, usually cars are made of metal, so I'm just going to give this a metallic shader. And you can see it radically changes the model to look a lot more realistic. And now I'm going to do the same thing on this black color, because this is just, a, this is also diffuse, and I want to give it a glass texture. So now it's starting to look a bit more realistic. And um, so for instance, let's see, this right here is not standard. You can see it's just completely dark. That's because this is also a glass texture. See, you can see it looks a lot different from when you have no material to a material. The second thing that you can uh, do is going over to these three bars here, turn on these settings here, turn that one on, this one on, and if you have any clouds, or fog that you want to use, you can turn that on. And if your scene is like much larger, so for instance, if I click this and I dragged it out to like here. So for instance, let's say I have whatever, if I have the scene going out to like the max render view, I go to render, you don't see anything. That's because sparse is unchecked to save computing power, but if you want these three scenes to be bigger in render view, you can turn that on and they should pop up like so. I'm just going to turn that off because we're just focusing on a car. There's no need to have the high rendering power and delete these examples. Going back to the car, we can go over to this camera icon and you can adjust the exposure and vignette settings to your liking to make it look a little bit more poppy. And if you have emission, you can turn on blue and that changes it a lot. You can see it looks a lot more realistic with the uh, blue. You can turn this, click this button here and adjust your settings. So you can have it extremely bright if you wanted to, or very dim. Just keep it like that. You can also change the ground to whatever you'd want. So if I hold down my alt key and left click, anywhere on the ground, I can go over and change the material. So if I want to give it a showcase reflective look, I could do that. And you can change the reflectiveness and metallic, or just change the material to whatever you want. You can also change the color of the ground. Let's say I don't like this uh, kind of gray. I can give it maybe a blue and make it stand out a little bit more and not be so monotone. Uh, 
Uh, lastly, you can change the world lighting settings. So right now in Magic Voxel, it's set to these settings here. If you want to get a more atmospheric look, you can click this middle icon and you can see the effects if I go into perspective view. I like aim down and I adjust the angle and direction of the sun. You can see it's changing how the light is bouncing and you can even make it look more like a sunset by dragging this down. And you turn this button here, it turns on the sun. So we can probably find the sun once we orient it correctly. There it is, there's the sun right there. So you can mess with these and get some cool shots if you wanted to. And the second one, or the third one, is an HDRI, which basically overlays an image for the skybox. And I have a video that I actually made on HDRIs, you can probably check out. I'll leave in the description below. But basically, HDRIs are pretty cool because they provide a kind of a palette of world lighting and you can change the rotation of how you want the HDRI to reflect off your scene and then clicking this picture it should pop up with a folder so I mean select different HDRIs to match whatever you want in your scene so yeah that's pretty much with this video I just wanted to show you some cool tricks you can do with the rendering to make your bland looking assets in Magical Voxel look a little bit better. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.